Hello everybody, uh, this is Sabura Bottle, and this video is for the people who's trying to play Monster Hunter Frontier using a PlayStation 4 controller. If you guys already seen my recent videos on how to install Monster Hunter Frontier and setting up the X inputs, think of it like extra steps for the PlayStation 4 controller. It's pretty simple, so let's get to it. First thing you gotta do is open up Bluetooth by pressing the the Windows button, type in Bluetooth until it pops up. And from here, you grab yourself your PS4 controller that you're trying to connect. You press the PlayStation icon and the share button. Hold it until it starts making three blinkers. There it is. Once it's blinking, click on the Bluetooth and until you find one that says wireless controller. Click on it and connect. And I already connect the controller before already, so it didn't need to update my driver. Once once you're once you connect it, the next step you gotta do is open up Steam. And on the library, click on add a game. Add a non-Steam game, click on it, and browse and search for the program that are that has MHF application. Not sure where you guys um, install your program at, but here it is. Add the selected program. Once it's, it's selected, uh, for, next thing you got to do is connect your PlayStation 4 with the Steam by clicking enter big picture mode, which is up here. Click on it. And I don't know why, but the UI on mine is different than some other ones. So in case you guys, in case your UI is different, try to try to use your mouse and click on the gearbox and try to click on the, the part that says controller from controller you enable your your PlayStation 4 uh, dual sync support after that you're pretty much done make sure your PlayStation 4 controller is connected and for this UI you pretty much click the circle thing go to controls and from controls right here where it says PlayStation controller support make sure you enable it with or without support and right here right now my playstation 4 is connected so let's give it a try once it's connected all you got to do is just exit out of the big picture mode and open up steam again go to the library and click on mhf now from here you could Make sure your PlayStation 4 controller is set up for the for Xbox inputs, which it already is. After that, you just pretty much uh, run the program and you're good to go. Uh, there's multiple ways on installing your PlayStation 4 controller. You can use the DS4 uh, Windows software. But that is kind of hard for me to fuck around with. And you could also just grab the micro USB and connect it to your PC to the controller, which is another option. But for whatever reason, my for the for my controller, it doesn't work properly well with it. But for whatever reason, it works on my bootlegged uh, PS4. But it the but the bootlegged PS4 is kind of shit, so I'm using the the OG one. All right, let's test the controller out real quick. Running around, do a circle, or some other thing. Just look around. But other than that, hope this video is very helpful. This is for a bottle. Walking off.